royal drama captivates the world. Grand palaces and jewels hint at privilege and perfection, but a complex family saga unfolds behind the scenes. King Charles has made a shocking announcement, he has disowned his youngest son, Prince Harry. This move has escalated a family feud into something severe. How did it come to this? What could make a father cut ties with his son so publicly? Let's explore a story that has captured everyone's attention. Prince Harry was once the spare to the throne, known for his rebellious spirit. However, his relationship with Meghan Markle has dramatically changed his role within the royal family. The monarchy now views his actions as out of control. His decision to step back from royal duties, known as Megs that shocked the monarchy, but was it the only reason for the fallout? Was there deeper family conflict before Meghan, or did Harry's openness about royal struggles betray King Charles? King Charles values tradition and legacy. His closest allies are Prince William and Princess Catherine, who balance modern values with tradition. William and Catherine have embraced their royal duties, while Harry has openly criticized royal protocols. This divide has driven the brothers apart. King Charles and Queen Camilla's relationship is crucial, and their bond has strengthened over the years. Camilla's support has influenced Charles's decision to disown Harry. But is Camilla's influence behind the king's choice, or did Charles make this decision alone, guided by tradition and the monarchy's protection? Prince Harry has openly discussed his struggles within the royal family, and his public airing of family issues may have been the final straw. His interview with Oprah Winfrey and his memoir, Spare, have exposed the royal family's cracks. Harry sees this as self-exploration, while for King Charles, Harry's actions are an unforgivable betrayal that attacks the institution he has dedicated his life to. Anecdotal moment, imagine your son criticizing your life's work, how would you feel? King Charles faces this dilemma, and it's affecting him deeply. Prince Harry was deeply affected by the news of his disownment. Those close to him say he was heartbroken and in tears. Being cut off from his family has left a lasting emotional scar. Despite the rift, Harry still loves his father, yet reconciliation seems unlikely given the public nature of the disownment. Relatable question, have you ever had a falling out with a family member? The pain of losing someone close is unbearable. Harry's tears may signify regret or simply a reaction to being disowned. King Charles has leaned on Queen Camilla and Princess Catherine during this tumultuous time. Camilla, known for her loyalty, has been a source of strength, while Catherine, dedicated to her royal duties, has become a symbol of hope for the monarchy. Visual Description Picture the royal family on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. Camilla and Catherine stand beside King Charles, showcasing stability, while Prince Harry is notably absent, highlighting the family's deep divide. What lies ahead for Prince Harry and King Charles? Some believe time can heal these wounds, while others think the trust is irreparably broken. Prince Harry may choose to live outside the royal family, focusing on his charitable work and raising his children. Meanwhile, King Charles aims to preserve the monarchy's legacy with William and Catherine by his side. With Camilla's support, Charles's reign will likely remain traditional and structured, leaving little room for Harry's independent spirit. This story is about more than a royal family crisis, it's about family dynamics, loyalty, love, and loss. It shows that even those with everything can face challenges similar to our own. So, what do you think? Does King Charles's decision seem right, or has Harry been unfairly cut off? The debate is outgoing and we want to hear your thoughts. Share your comments, and let's discuss the complexities of family tradition and personal freedom. Tell us what you think. Would you have made the same decision as King Charles, or do you side with Prince Harry? Share this article, comment your thoughts, and join the global conversation. Your opinion could be key to understanding this complex family drama. Let's keep the discussion going. The public response to this royal drama is divided. Some support King Charles's decision to protect the monarchy's stability, viewing Harry's disclosures as damaging to the family's reputation. Others see Harry's actions as brave, as he chose his mental health and happiness over royal duties. His words about the pressures of royal life have resonated with many who feel trapped by family and society. Did you know searches for how to set boundaries with family and leave toxic dynamics spiked after the Oprah interview? 
Harry's openness has sparked a global conversation about family expectations and personal freedom. With public opinion split, how will this affect the monarchy's future? Could Harry's move be a chance for the royal family to evolve, or is it the start of their decline? The media has had much to say about this story. Tabloids, TV, and social media have all weighed in, each presenting their own spin. Some portray King Charles as strict, while others see Harry as a rebel fighting for freedom. This media storm raises an important question, what role does the media play in family disputes involving public figures? Prince Harry has discussed how the media has negatively impacted his mental health, often citing his mother's death as a reason for his distrust. Yet the media continues to cover him, exacerbating the divide between Harry and his family. Is the media impartial in this family drama, or does it worsen the situation? How much of what we see is shaped by both sides' narratives? Lessons we can learn, navigating our own family dynamics. The Royal Rift highlights issues that resonate with many. We may not live in castles, but we can understand the pain of strained family ties. We all face moments when our family bonds are tested. What can we learn from the royal family's struggles? Communication is key, Harry felt unheard, which led him to speak out. King Charles felt blindsided, viewing Harry's actions as disloyal. Actionable tip, if you're dealing with family tension, consider these steps. Open dialogue, don't let issues build up, talk openly and honestly. Set boundaries, establish clear boundaries with family and communicate them well. Seek understanding, try to see things from the other person's perspective and acknowledge their feelings, even if you don't agree. Have you ever felt like you were speaking a different language to your family? This is a common experience, much like Harry's. But can we find a way back after communication breaks down? This disownment has significant implications for the monarchy's future. With King Charles disowning Harry, the royal family's image is at risk. In today's world, transparency and authenticity are more important than ever. The royal family has faced criticism for being out of touch. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to step back from royal duties signified a shift in how the younger generation views their roles. They believe happiness and mental well being should come first, rather than tradition. In contrast, Prince William and Princess Catherine remain committed to their royal duties, meeting the monarchy's and public's expectations. But is this commitment too strict for a younger audience? Will this moment lead to meaningful change in the monarchy, or will it continue as usual? As this emotional saga unfolds, we wonder, can Prince Harry and King Charles reconcile? Betrayal and disownment are fresh wounds, but time can heal even the deepest scars. King Charles knows this well. He found peace with Camilla after scandals and divorce. Can he do the same with Harry? Rhetorical question, can a family torn apart by betrayal come back together, or are some wounds too deep to heal? This royal drama leaves us with more questions than answers. What do you think? Is King Charles right to disown Prince Harry, or is it a mistake? Wes want to hear your thoughts. Share your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to share this article with friends and family. Now that you've read about the latest royal drama, what are your thoughts? Do you believe reconciliation is possible, or is this the beginning of a permanent family split? Comment below, share this article, and let's keep the discussion alive.